Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some exciting news coming from the folks at Gravity Sketch. So, just in case you have no idea, the folks at Gravity Sketch have actually gone ahead to announce that Gravity Sketch right now is going to be for free for individuals. So, if you're an individual and you like, you know, working with tools like this, you will definitely find this one very rewarding. So, what is Gravity Sketch and what can you do with this? So, Gravity Sketch basically is a 3D tool that you can use to simply make sketches and convert them to 3d this makes sense it's quite exciting but the only thing here is this tool is predominantly available for those who are working in vr so if you're working with vr or if you own a vr headset whether an oculus a htc vive or any of the steam enabled vr you can simply go over to steam right now and download this and start playing with it so there's early access that's opened up for anyone who wants to get it as this is automatically set to free and you know anyone who wants to get it can get this and start working with it meanwhile there are also various versions that have been released over time but i kind of feel like more updates are coming over to the VR section compared to the one that was released for both the desktop and also for the iPad. And of course, we're going to take a look at the one that is for the iPad because I've installed both and I've kind of played with them and see how they work. For that of the VR, we're definitely going to take a look at this in a later video. And speaking about taking a look at the VR version, the VR version just got a couple of updates. So there are certain quality of life updates that is now coming over to the VR version. And of course, for those who already own a VR, you can definitely go ahead and test it. And and one of the cool things about the free version that you can get right now is you can easily export things out as obj fbx and also igs and tons of people would ask this question like why is this free i mean what's the catch and why are they letting individuals have it for free well the ceo has actually gone ahead to announce in one of the video calls or you know conferences that he had with a couple of people that gravity sketch has actually gotten better because of the community so the community has contributed to gravity sketch being what it is right now and why not just simply set it for free so that more and more people will be able to have access to it and i guess this is uh this is a very good step in a very lovely direction and it is only a matter of time to see what and what gravity sketch will turn out to be meanwhile for those who would like to see how this actually works on the ipad i already have it installed on my ipad pro and i'm also going to show you guys how this looks like although they've also announced that there is a beta version which is currently in the works and this is more like an update that will you know uh, significantly increase productivity and also come with more development to the ipad version all right so with the ipad version open here you can notice that it has a couple of tools so this is basically the one which you can use to create things like lat revolving stuff and you have your basic geometry you also have some pipe drawing geometry if you would like to create things like slabs and stuff you can use that and you also have your symmetries so you have the basic symmetry and at the same time you can also notice that there are radial symmetries right here now for those who would like to also work with symmetrical modes like these ones which are here you can also do that so at this point i can select from this radial symmetry right now and draw and we can start creating things and i'm actually using the apple pen so that's why you know you can see stuff like that and you can draw things in this form now if you would also like to play with some other forms of making stuff maybe you want to make some bigger tubes you can use these and you can change the colors from here now for those who like to make some revolving stuff there are also these tools that are available you so you can create some revolve so we can go from something like that and make that so and get something like this so if you click on this big button right here you can view this in various forms so you can rotate this as well and preview this however you want but then if you would like to work in 3d all you need to do is click on this button and automatically once you start moving your device you would notice that the whole sketch starts moving so you can turn your device however you want depending on what you like to create at any given time so maybe i like to create stuff around here and i can rotate this to a point and draw around that point like so and depending on how you like to make your designs you can easily make these designs like this so this is a this is a very cool tool to have and of course they are going to be making some more updates and there are certain things which i wish to see which i cannot see meanwhile there is a tiny button right here which brings out this bar and from here you can start up a brand new sketch or you can send this to sketchfab save this and preview this either in ar or as a 2d image within the gallery there are sets of 
things that are available right here and you can simply select any of them so i can double click right there select that there is a very nice helpful guide that tells you what and what to do and how you can operate this stuff and you can preview these things and see how they get you know how you can work with them for those who might be wondering what about this tool that is available here this tool can help you preview your stuff in 3d once you're within the 2d all right so once you click you can temporarily preview this in 3d and at the same time you can change the level of elevation so i can move this all the way to a point like so and because i haven't noticed that there is a, a layer system what this does is it gives you that opportunity to be able to move things and then you can draw based off the layer that is available at any given point so we can get this there and i can preview this in 3d and i can move this down a little bit depending on what i would like to add so let's say i want to add a couple of things maybe we want to add some things like this and maybe around here as well and probably some things around here we can easily go through and start adding these things so this is uh this is very very nice and the folks at Gravity Sketch are already saying that they will be releasing some more updates which will be well enhanced and you know pretty cool. And of course there's the landing pad. So the landing pad is basically for Gravity Sketch users. It's more like a cloud based system which allows you to upload your files depending on what platform you're working with. So I kind of didn't see that option on the mobile device yet. You'll be able to upload your models, preview them and store it. So it's more like a combination of what you can get with Sketchfab and also with the Google Drive. The only difference here is you will only be getting access to one gigabyte of free space which you can throw in your stuff and I think this is going to be nice for easy collaboration because you can easily share your files and also your designs across several persons and you know you can collaborate with lots of people at the same time. So this is a very cool, it's a very cool thing to have. Meanwhile, for those who like to get gravity, you can also come through and take a look, look at some of the new features that is available right now which includes new lobby, subgroups, grouping, editing and also mirroring stuff and of course for those who like to snap based off rotation there is also something like that for you so there are tons of cool new nice features that's available so you can do well to come through and check these ones out so for those who like to take a look at this you want to get this this is now available for both oculus rift steam and also oculus quest so in case you own any of these ones you can go ahead play with these things and get good with them and that's more like it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section link to this is going to be in the description for those who like to read more about the major updates that's now available and also for those who would like you know to take a look at the steam vr maybe you would like to read more about gravity sketch link is going to be in the description and at the same time there's going to be a link in the description for those who like to join discord and also support me on patreon so tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace